So here we are, ladies and gents, finally on the last part of Everything Great About Black Clover. I won't bang on with some monologue, I'll say a little at the very end. But first, just a massive thank you to everyone for joining me for the ride, and now let's do this. <laughs> I believe I made mention to it in part 11, but just in case, it's awesome how they built Yuno's character in terms of what he was up against from the day he joined to now. It started off where everyone hated him pretty much across the board, and now they accept him, and it's wonderful to see, plus that music is gorgeous, it's one of my favourites. <laughs> I'll avoid showing it, but credit here for actually showcasing some destruction. Normally in anime such as this, we get no blood, or they find a way around showing damage, but here they were very clear that they are either no longer with us, or extremely injured. <laughs> Credit to making these stronger, I feel like it would have been an easy cop out merely to have Yuno stroll in and take out these slightly weaker foes right off the bat, but instead it's kept a challenge. <laughs> You know living up to his ideals of caring for his comrades by rescuing them mid-battle, because let's face it, the notion of his newfound care for them would have been ruined if he ignored them on the floor and just did battle. But I don't think many would have given that much thought, so well played. <laughs> Even though the animation doesn't exactly blow you away here, and I don't think it's intended to, as the start of the battle is straightforward, but from a stylish looking standpoint, they got creative with the angles and shots to pack in a more action filled vibe. They just got better and better at that as they went. <laughs> Oh, I'm not gonna show it, but man oh man, he sliced right through him! Super cool looking up close shot of him afterwards as well. Incredibly badass. I've been praising for so long now how magic evolves as they train and get stronger and this is perhaps one of the best examples yet outside the main characters because he's now able to defend himself and others and also attack all at once yet at the start his magic seemed so weak to me Another unique magic attack. Lovely little bit of information here which allowed those who trained to attempt to gain additional strength through using elven magic scraps left behind when they were set free. Dedication to the law! Oh, he's come such a long way since part one. Not giving yourself away before you attack. <laughs> My boy returning to the fight and such a nice touch making it slow motion to build the tension beautifully. The end to this battle, Klaus being awesome and ending it, and for the knowledge that he's training hard in an attempt to keep up as close as possible to his powerful friends. Can't believe I used to hate him. Take another win here for the introduction to them with that amazing tense sounding music. This is a real introduction as well of their power to us the viewer and them as villains. Hype! This is getting stupidly intense! <gasps> Oh, 
Oh man, Klaus might be that ah, man. Art style changes, you know, loses his mind. The perfect way to demonstrate truly oppressive strength from an evil foe. The closest thing I can liken it to is All For One's introduction in My Hero Academia Season 3. Seriously, bless this dude's heart. He ended up following after you know anyway, even when I thought he wouldn't. And they show how weak he is, given how much he's sweating. I don't know if that's true. I feel like in this anime, he could bounce back somehow. But regardless, that right now makes me feel incredibly sad and emotional. Just a quick win here before I even know what's happening to say that I always adore seeing his magic at work. Still makes me emotional seeing it. It's so bright, calming and warm and it's kind strength. Yeah, I don't even care if anyone thought this was a bit of an ass pull in the story. I'm legitimately so happy to see him okay. I genuinely felt kind of sick to my stomach seeing him gone and her crying over him. Take another one here because it wasn't just you know, but my boy Klaus and everyone else. Perhaps one of the saddest and greatest parts of this episode is that not everyone was just miraculously saved, but instead it was those on the verge of death and the others couldn't be saved. <laughs> Yuno's painful reaction to knowing half his squad is gone and how he wishes he had been stronger. Amazing voice acting as well. They can have one final win here for this episode. It was brutal, great battles and some super emotional moments. It also did an unbelievably great job of setting up the arc properly by showing off their strength, losing comrades and introducing a powerful will to get stronger in the face of such adversity. These are some actually creepy as hell looking art style change images right here. Oh my god! This is so amazing! I've got legit goosebumps! She's bad, but I don't dislike her, you feel me? Oremoda,すでにスペード領内にある辺境の町は攻略し。I mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again. Keep on telling me about the progression of invasion. I dig stuff like that. In fact, when I wrote part 11, I think I just finished Fire Emblem Three Houses, and now as I write this, I've played through it a second time. Shout out Blue Lions, innit? <laughs> yeah, it just reminds me of that. <laughs> Unexpected out of nowhere plot twist! What an amazing start to the episode! It was so happy-go-lucky and joke-filled and all of a sudden the invasion begins and things get incredibly tense! That's so good! For like the 100th time or something, Vanessa is still in the anime and it's still a win! Yeah, just about all of this weird stuff. <laughs> what 
What's with all the arm style changes? Oh my goodness, it's happening! I adore how they're all primed and ready for war essentially, as soon as the enemy appears, they immediately go into attack mode. No standing around talking, nothing long-winded, just attack! Another really powerful and new magic adar! Asta being Asta! I'm so worried, like for real! Oh my goodness, it's so nerve-wracking to know that at that moment Asta would have been killed and was only saved by Mr. Red Catenstein. All jokes aside, that's nuts when you think about it. <laughs> Such obvious scenes containing way more frames than usual, just giving Black Clover a different kind of vibe since part 11. It's also ideal for this arc, since the extra frames go a long way to making things more creepy like right here on this close-up. <laughs> <laughs> These two attacks only animate its first maximum two wins award during this video with not only a very brief art style change moment but also some fantastic animation on the attack. Asta looks incredible, this is going to be so good. <laughs> This guy's just too tough. He's the perfect final boss of this anime if it never continues, which hopefully it very much will, but even if it ended here, it's ideal. Such overwhelming power. Yet another fantastic example of what I was talking about in win number 2007 about the extra frames being used alongside this slightly new style to really excellently accentuate the creepy factor. Also though, for likely one of the final times, I love Astra as a character, his personality resonated with me throughout, and his strong heart, never giving up no matter what he faces, like right here. I'm so incredibly anxious writing this, but I also have to point out how much of a fit this music is to the scene. If this is a song from the official soundtrack, I'd love it if someone could mention it in the comments. I'm getting goosebumps again! <laughs> okay, so a few wins here being issued out. First, I'm beyond shocked at what just happened to Gauch. Never expected that. Again, like you know, I doubt it's the end of him, but I'm shocked all the same. The next one is a double win. It's the feel and vibe. It's different to before. Black Clover evolved and for the better to an extreme degree. I felt that power in my guts like never before. You even see Asta salivating during the attack. Just raw anger on display. Black Clover just became a whole different animal there and it's worth two wins. Dear God, it's that! It's hard to even write about. It's just different to anything that's come before. It's like the result of a higher budget, more hands on deck, and maybe no animators. It's glorious!
This lovely and tasty bit of crispy lore as we learn a tiny bit more about the devils, showing that it wasn't a story created out of nothing, which to be fair we knew anyway. I mean, they've been teased from near the start, but you know what I mean. It's not just devils and that's it. There's story behind it. There's lore. For real, if you know this music, I need to know it. I haven't felt a song match a scene so well since probably Jotaro took on Sheer Heart Attack in Diamond is Unbreakable. It fits too well. It must be stopped. Weirdest win of the video goes to this straight up sounding like Escanor from Seven Deadly Sins. Cruel Sun. Finally, at long, long last, getting an understanding of why she is the way that she is. I've been waiting for background on her character for the longest time. And then it's even worse than I figured it could have been, learning about her awful stepmother and her even worse stepsisters. It was a hard job finding a way to justify her extreme antisocial behavior, but I think the mangaka did an awesome job of building a fitting story. <laughs> And another piece of the puzzle now fits into place in regards to her character and her fascination with him, or at least her feelings towards him. That's even more fitting for her character and lovely in general, that she ended up in the same place as him and so wishes to reach out and say something but can't quite manage it. Also, take another win here for all of these prior moments now meaning so much more. At first, I felt they were kind of filling in blanks with a character we knew next to nothing about, but now it's clear that it was always leading to this point, and these were actual, genuine moments along the path. <laughs> That is so awesome, finally now her own magic begins to evolve into something new and very much useful and it was spurred on by just about the furthest thing from microwaved character progression since it was built upon for like 50 odd episodes! <laughs> Yes! Take two wins purely for Yami arriving on the scene and giving that line. Nothing else. I just knew it was coming. It was amazing and it gets the maximum two wins. He freaking caught Funeral on the way down and stopped himself from falling all the way flat and he's awesome! Also another side win here for the sound effects. They've also been on point these past few episodes along with the new music. His magic looks so legit. I've been a fan since like part three, I swear. I swear it's so like Yami to accuse him of being a stalker mid-fight for knowing so much about him. I love him! Yami Mato, Yaigiri! Amazing. They've really gone next level recently with stylish looking attacks too as he lands a big hit on the enemy.
These past few episodes have done such a good job of producing reactions and statements from people to represent an understanding of how powerful these new foes are. Another anime that does this well to its credit has to be Dragon Ball Z and Super. Luck being lucky and making it in time, no pun intended, and for his, as always, eye-pleasing CGI slash animation magic. <laughs> Admittedly, I did think luck would fare well immediately, but right away that's not the case. Black Clover keeps on fooling me and it's because these foes are unlike anything we've seen before. <laughs> Another unique magic attack! <laughs> I know I only just mentioned it two wins ago, but what a wonderful way to prove me right by showing such intense damage upon the face of luck after being attacked just twice! <laughs> Bruh, using a moment from over 150 episodes ago to forward Lux's character? That's the long game, man! It's unreal! This never normally happens in anime, usually when there's a flashback like there just was as he was being taught a lesson for the past six months of training, it results in a powerful attack, like always, but here the flashback occurs, he does an attack and again it fails, stop tricking me! <laughs> Tricked me again, now it's actually working! Oh my goodness, take two wins man, he actually turned himself into a spear travelling so fast his body could do nothing against it. Absolutely Lux's greatest ever attack, which looked amazing too, especially in the build up for me. Take those wins! <laughs> I swear these endings half the time wouldn't get a win if they weren't so unusually funny, like him saying over and over again, isn't she cute, and then a nicer communication from Gordon seals the deal. Even though it doesn't outright explain anything, this right here tells me that the devil inside of him has a proper grudge against the others for one reason or another, and that's news to me, and I love it! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I knew it wouldn't be that easy, but it still hurts to see him heal up after all of that. I'll edit around it, but learning more about his character as well. I guess I assumed he was just a devil, but in reality he started off a normal man, just born differently as they show. Mm, that was a tasty law. I enjoy my law lightly salted. Few spices, you know what I mean? Give me law! And here we have it, we've arrived at the crux of the matter, the true endgame goal of destruction, something far worse than the elves had ever attempted, and the giant endgame result our heroes will fight against. <laughs> I don't like her, but I like her, you know what I mean? Really happy that they included this, because it felt to a small degree like she was more of a nuisance than anything else, but now we know that that wasn't the case.
I'm sure she'll bounce back from this just like Luck did, but just like what happened with Luck, it's straight up overwhelming power to start off with. My god, what is this music? It's like Braveheart meets something else I don't even know. It just calls to me. I can feel its soul. This is not a drill! Tommy is going all out again! I can't get over how her magic is like a different kind of entity or something. Surely that's totally unique to her, right? Well now, that's not how I thought it'd go down. He ate her hair kind of and the source of her magic and then she smacked the heck out of her. It was amazing. So very much unique magic it does! No lie, that's just a straight up awesome looking attack, isn't it? No, that's just a straight up looking attack, isn't it? I mean, look at the size of it! This guy living up to his name and former display of power by handily beating his opponent seemingly with ease. You go, boy! I so often find myself like, ugh, and then, ah, oh, when I remember that she does this all the time. <laughs> Oh, well, I didn't expect that. Okay, well played. Lovely looking attack as well. She's come along so nicely since the early days of being able to heal only, basically. And that was definitely another plot twist. Plot twist! Genuinely a plot twist! Also, take another separate one here for having these two in the same room, since this opponent means a lot to both of them through their stories. That was really well done. Man, I love seeing other areas of this world. I've praised it so many times in other anime, but never here. Credit to actually putting writing on the paper in their own language. Normally it's straight up scribbles. An anime lately which greatly impressed me in this regard was Jobless Reincarnation. That was next level. <laughs> So two wins here. First one is for this character's magic. It super reminded me of the dude in the suit from Hunter x Hunter, the one during the Chimera Ant arc, and that's a win. Second win is for the fact that he's seemingly a member of the Black Bulls. There's someone else out there who's insanely strong, crazy magic. Oh man, I love Black Clover, that was outstanding. <laughs> God, this dude is so gross and plot twist. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Black Clover be twisting up this plot into a damn pretzel during part 12, I swear. I'm so confused. <laughs> Absolutely weirdest win of the video goes to this guy being just like the big one from prison school who loves being stomped on. Big shout out to that anime by the way, massive fan, it's so funny. So yeah, take a win for the reminder of big small face dude. <laughs> I love these characters so much. Incredible determination and perseverance on display in spite of being so injured. They're amazing. What do you think, Magicada? 
それに向かって修行しましょう。So many prior parts had epic looking poses praised by me, and this one is another good example. Heart of the Kingdom is the power of the Kingdom, and the knowledge, knowledge, and experience. Coming up with lore such as this for the Queen and her knowledge base being improved and passed down each generation. Double win right here. The first half is for the incredible looking attack. It looked nothing short of glorious and very fitting for a queen. And the second half is a mixture of Noel looking great, the fact that the queen was made this powerful, and the music mixed in to really pump the action vibe. I'll be honest. Probably not going to get away with showing her mermaid form, yeah? But goodness me, doesn't she look outstanding? Not even joking around, she looks fit. Okay, take that win. <laughs> so unexpected. Editing around the lovely views, there's some brilliant smooth action in this battle thus far, and the well is just a joy to watch for me nowadays. She's so much better than before, so much more confident, and so much more powerful. Blah. That got me. Well done. You got me. <laughs> Even standing still and being held up, she somehow fell. <laughs> ah, this is getting intense and the animation is excellent. Finding a way in which to work Nero into their plan, as I had entirely forgotten about her during the battle. No! Yeah. I'm not going to be able to do it. Oh man, can nothing ever work out well straight away? Sorry, but. It's not how I thought it would happen. It's so intense, I gotta breathe. You know what? I'm gonna be 100% honest right here. I can't be bothered to find out if this OP is slightly new. I know it's not entirely new, but I felt like some of the visuals may be, so I'm dropping a win here because it looks awesome. Still don't know if it's changed, but why the heck not, you feel me? It's the finale! Even though it's a short scene, it's still thrilling to watch a healing only character like her develop this aggressive tack magic. It's the ever expanding element of magic in the anime that I've always loved and praised. Yet more fantastic examples of extra frames being mixed with very creepy sounding music and instruments that really exemplify the horrifically powerful foes they're facing. It's different to anything that's come before it. Just straight up awful, really. Terrible turn of events, things looking so bad, excellently done. <laughs> Lovely, but at the same time, brutal flashback here. Seeing how she was kindly guided through life by the spirit who showed her nothing but love and respect at all times, and on the flip side, knowing she's dying. Being nice to animals is always a win. <laughs> That single-mindedness is horrible because she's so callous that as soon as she sees that she is in utter despair and definitely won't fight anymore, she loses that jovial tone and turns truly cold and evil. Amazing characters these enemies are when done in this way. Best villains to date in my mind. <laughs> 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 
Mr. Even though nothing will come from it right here just yet, this is getting maximum wins. Her determination to save her friends and confidence in their abilities, just like I mentioned before, is fully on display and it's a joy to witness. She's so hurt and so tired, and yet attacks with such passion. <laughs> I couldn't have written anything more true to her character two wins ago. What an example! Yami is still fighting like a badass! This is not a drill! He's so awesome! This steadily increasing percentage idea is perfect for this battle, constantly making us aware of how much stronger they're becoming versus our heroes who are also improving. It's such a well used mechanic here! Coming up with a smart reason as to why they don't just use 100% of their power right off the bat, and in this case actually can't in general right now. Such great animation on that, got me thinking of Vanilla Ice from Stardust Crusaders with the effects and of course animation too. It's legitimately been such a damn thrill to watch Yami fight ever since part 3. I feel like I just know the guy now so well. It's such a joy to behold in my heart. Two wins here. Firstly, he's okay. And what a pose that was. Godlike. Secondly, he only went ahead and said the thing he says, didn't he? So many extra frames for everyone! If you thought for even one single second that that wasn't getting two wins, you're about to feel proper silly. Of course it's getting two wins. It won't be the end of it, but it looks amazing. Extra frames, intense as all hell, and Yami being godlike. One of my all-time favorite moments right here. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? I'm so glad someone actually addressed this. It's irritating acting like you're so strong, purely because you have a devil inside of you giving you power. But at least he accepted that Yami is better than him. I genuinely loathe seeing Yami in trouble, facially as well, since he's never really come across as though he's in trouble until right now, and it's awful to witness. The level of detail on that one small moment is incredible looking! Again, this is just terrible to watch. For maybe one of the final times, this damn pose.
私をもっと楽しませてくれ。Yummy calling for Asta to help him for the first time, I think, ever, pretty much. Asta managing to find the will to rise to his feet and rejoin the fight. The poses they both take, absolutely godlike battle and moment in general. Take those two wins with my gratitude in tow. <laughs> I suppose an aspect of a truly evil villain such as this one is where they do what they do purely for their own entertainment. Much the same thing is happening in the other battle with Yami as well, and in this way they make for great enemies to face because all they want to do is destroy. Very similar to All for One from My Hero Academia. <laughs> Yet another plot twist to that! It's just so thrilling. That Braveheart type music as well. It fits so well, it scares me. It's got me so on edge. The animation is stunning, employing effects similar to the famous Midoriya vs. Todoroki, and then their teamwork got me thinking of Midoriya and All Might's battle at the end of the first movie. I love it so much. Two wins. Saving Asta and then doing a crazy, not running on the spot, crazy because there's so much in the frames, it's also got me going nuts as a video game fan because this dude is like the ultimate final boss. This is so cool! For the 1,000th time, Astra is also amazing. He's grown so nicely over the last 167 episodes. Just really delicate pacing has led to this moment and I've enjoyed it so much. He's got some new freaking super cool looking glowing arm thing going on. And as if that wasn't enough, the animators are still working like crazy right here to make it look as good and unique as possible. How can we praise them enough for their work and effort in this episode alone? I truly hope that those who gave Black Clover a hard time over the years saw this and at least reached out with positive vibes. That would have made their year, I'd imagine, after working so hard. This looks so good, it's almost reminding me of Devil Man Crybaby style of animation. Uh, it's so wholesome to see him issue out a compliment like this. And he meant every word. It's amazing! Yeah. 
For me personally, probably the greatest 45 second period of time of the entire series to date. Nothing but gorgeous animation, so much going on on screen that I can hardly keep up and that's the result of some beautiful editing and the choice of angles for these sequences. It keeps the battle flowing whilst showing what each character is doing and almost attempts to keep the camera on the action at all times. Used to amazing effect here and extremely worthy, as you can imagine, of two wins. <laughs> If you happen to know which animators took on this battle, let us know in the comments below. They deserve so much praise for the wide variety of animation styles during these scenes. Breathtaking. <laughs> That sword! What a scale this is all happening on! Yeah man, this just gets two wins as well. It's that good, I can't not. Especially Yummy making it just in time with his attack to save Asta. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. Obviously, yet again, maximum two wins all day long. Art style changes, amazing sound effects hammering home the final impact of the attack, the demon getting a few words in, Yami passing along his precious sword to Asta for the blow. One of the best moments ever for me. Just a shame I can't show the entire thing, but loads of blood, a nasty final wound, but you get the picture. <laughs> Yami still displaying how and why he's the boss by catching him and again issuing out a compliment. I could hear those all day. They're so rare. <laughs> After the flashback scene, it's good to get this moment from her, showing her true feelings towards him at long last. <laughs> I totally forgot about him! I started having a bad feeling when he approached the body too! That's so well done! <laughs> that! That is terrible! I feel so bad in my gut! Amazing that they're making me feel this way though! It's brilliant but awful at the same time! <laughs> His magic is so good, that looked so good! <laughs> Giving a reason for him to withdraw here and covering a potential plot hole as to why the superior fighter didn't just stick around to take them all out. <laughs> The pure passion and ferocity that everyone went through in an attempt to stop him leaving left me so proud and also so on edge that I was borderline shaking, willing them to pull off something. Man oh man, when I started Black Clover and made it through several parts, I never thought it'd end up making me feel these kinds of things by the end of it. Simply put, hard to watch. Especially seeing Yami's face at the very end and their reactions. <laughs> Oh, 
もはや組織が組み替わっている。Seriously, how cool is that? She turned him back to 100% normal. じゃあ、何の魔法なんだ申し訳ないが、僕には見当もつかない。アスタ君はこのまま医療棟の方で休ませよう。90% of the win is for her magic being more complicated than first thought. A good road to tread down after diving into her character a few episodes ago, showing that wasn't merely done on a whim. The other 10% is because this music randomly got me thinking of good times playing Mass Effect. Not sure why, maybe it's those keys got me thinking of a certain song. Now he's got access to Yami's sword! His magic is so confusing, it keeps on expanding, and I love it! Who is that? I don't know what it is. I'm going to go back. I totally forgot about this guy! What happens now? What is going on? This guy is like Pride from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and he's got some super unique magic with various abilities. Oh, and it's exactly like the Unseen Hands from ReZero. I can't contain my excitement. It's too good. It needs to be stopped. Oh, come on, man. This is stupidly good. It's disgustingly great. It makes me sick to my stomach. It should be ashamed of itself, but I bet it isn't. It still must be stopped. ただ今のところ、君の全挙動から何の才能も感じないけどね。I'm so glad that Astro is back to being his normal self right here, making me laugh. He's been serious for so long now, I'd almost forgotten what he's actually like when calm. These two minutes of the meeting can get a win for first coming down the pace of the recent events, which have been so action packed it's felt like we haven't had time to breathe, and secondly, for showing several captains displaying their worry in their own way for Yami. I'm legit over here watching this and laughing like out of shock at how powerful he is. Yami and Banjans are in the same way that they 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 are in the same way that Brilliant explanation of their plan to open the gate to the underworld, and perhaps even better is the notion that each of the seven gates contains devils whom are equal to the dark triad at the very top and get much, much stronger down below. And you know what? Take one more here for telling us about the biggest and baddest devil, whom I both hope we will meet for entertainment's sake, and also very much hope we don't meet for our hero's sake. If I'm a hero, I'll be able to get to the dark triad of the dark triad. I'll be able to get to the dark triad. This entire plan just smacks me in the face and reminds me of Hunter Hunter's Chimera Ant arc mixed with the Elves arc from Black Clover, an elite force heading into an immensely high pressure scenario to tackle a powerful set of foes. I'm so beyond happy you have no idea. I'm a spade of the Lord of the Lord of the Lord. Even though it's just a brief moment, I so appreciate learning that Vengeance, whilst fighting, also gave his all at the same time to save his comrades, and as we know, plant the seed to restore many of them after he was taken. He's such a legend. Take another here for the mixture of the heart thumping music and Yuno's epic level speech. It's really got me pumped. Especially Bell being super serious for a change at the end, too, since Yuno's defeat obviously greatly affected her. <laughs> end of episode totally 1000% unexpected plot twist of elf related confusion! Here? 
As a lifelong fan of RPGs, I'm so thrilled to be seeing this from a lore perspective, and mainly as an avid lover of strange and wonderful looking environments. Another reason I adored Jobless Reincarnation, by the way. Gorgeous Elfland scenery shot that's genuinely stunning. <gasps> It's so dumb, man, getting emotional over this, but I'm so in love with how long reaching the story is, like showing us something from about 50 episodes ago, and maybe it's because she's emotional, or maybe it's due to how amazing these past eight episodes have been, but it's got me emotional, damn it! I think because I was so caught up in Yami and Asta's battles, I'd forgotten about the explosions over in that country, so take a win here for finding just about the best way humanly possible to work their rescue into the story whilst linking it to these elves. <laughs> Noelle's passion and perseverance on display once more, showing how far she's come since the early days. For the final time of the entire series, or at least for now, City Scenery Shop which probably took ages to put together. Also gonna drop a win here for this guy, his power was nicely on display as everyone was knocked out after the explosions, and yet he was still standing perfectly fine. He's a badass, can't wait to see more of him, he's a great character in the anime. I haven't the slightest clue why I was under the impression that Black Clover would forge forwards with its devil arc without giving many details. Merely there's devils inside people, they're super strong. I should have known that the manga would come up with plenty of lore to tie it all together. Big old props for that. <laughs> It's the devil that's inside of him! Finally, we're getting to see more of it! Back and go from my hero academia! <laughs> Just like before, I love Asta, and how he's a staple in the anime as the source of so much humour. And by the way, Bakugo voicing this devil is perfect. Such an ideal fit. Man, he's such an incredibly lovable guy. And now they're building up the devil's background a little bit. I tell you, I cannot wait for the anime to return. It has to. They're actually showing us the devil realm and adding lore to it! Such a sad start to his story and obviously at the same time so in line with the origin story of our own Asta. What a brilliant way to come full circle. I'll be honest, truly impressed by the storytelling. It's wonderful. Uh. Oh, okay. I know it cannot continue to be positive like this since he ends up inside Asta's grimoire, but for real, how wholesome is this entire scene? I can't let it go by without a cheeky wholesome win. I don't even know what to think anymore. So many plot twists, it physically hurts. I'm injured! That's so sad, man. And I talked about the story coming full circle, but I never thought the circle would be this complete. Such amazing writing. I cannot even believe that. And when he says Kasan, oh, such good voice acting. <laughs> I love Asta! Oh, 
Two wins here, firstly due to Asta seriously looking like Yami right here as he fights, almost copying his style. Secondly is the stunning looking slowed down rotation shot as he blocks and dodges both attacks. Learning more about his life inside the Grimoire, how he came to gift a tiny bit of power to Asta to see him through the tougher times, and why he hates Devil so much that he'd be so fixated on ending them. It's simple scenes like this that I swear do not exist in the early anime. Stylish looking, unique angles, extra frames and so on. What a beautiful sentiment on top of beautiful animation. That he's copying the swordplay now of his old underwater friend and lover of Noel like me. Not walking on the spot when they could have cut corners and simply zoomed in the entire time. Amazing recap of everything Asta has been through as a person, the people he has helped, trusted, and come to love and respect. I feel now more than ever that I've been along for a truly epic ride. He keeps on copying other people's styles, my god it's unreal! It's been so long since we've been gifted with another continuous motion shot where the camera never cuts away from the action. There's so much dedication to the scene you're animating. For that, plus seeing Yami in his head as he copies his style, and then the final flurry of attacks without cutting away, take two wins. <laughs> Continuous motion shots were rare in Black Clover, and to be fair to me, they are, but there's like three in this episode alone. <laughs> and of course, grab a win on your way out the door for a great end to the battle. Yokuやった。これで10マの儀の準備は整った。君はその悪魔と完全優位に契約を結び、従属させることができる。そうか。俺と友達になろうぜ。え？なんだ悪魔は友達も知らねえのか？待て待て、その悪魔と対等な契約を結ぼうとしているのか？はい。戦う前にも言ったけど、俺が今まで戦ってこられたのはこいつのおかげです。this scene can only be described as being utterly wholesome and indicative of Asta's bright, warm and welcoming personality. As a character, he's one of my favourites across the board now, and what he's done here is nothing short of what I thought he'd do. Stupidly gorgeous scene right there. And his new contract being different from everyone else who's done the same ritual, and he's got his arm back. Credit to this character as well, he's grown on me an insane amount in just a couple of episodes, especially his praise for Asta's actions, whilst remaining a realist about how he'll have to work harder to not lose whilst doing what's right. They can take a final win here for the end of the episode, going through everyone's commitment to train harder than ever over the next few days in order to achieve their rescue mission and put an end to the devils. I'm so glad it ended as it did, as I feel extremely confident that it'll definitely return as a series at some stage, but for now, I'm happy to wait for the movie, and please ensure to that end you're subscribed so you don't miss that. 
Now I want to say two quick things. Firstly, I didn't intend, believe it or not, to end on 2,200 wins exactly. I just wrote to my heart's content, gave out wins exactly where I thought it deserved it, and it literally ends with 2,200. So not intended, but a happy coincidence if you're a little OCD like me. Secondly, I want to thank you all so much for joining me on this journey. It's currently the longest I've covered until I do the new season of JoJo, and I've enjoyed it so much. Black Clover didn't perform outstanding numbers, but I've been overwhelmed by the joy of fans of this series of mine every time I upload. So many comments, so many with lovely intent in them. Thank you all again, and I cannot wait to return for more Black Clover in the future, and hopefully I'll see you in other content on the channel too. Love you all, and I hope you enjoyed the ride. Nathan Byrne, Bird Without a Word, Tyler Warner, Ali 50, Kawada Takashiro, Ted L, Isael Caldera, Mr. Waffle 64, Kieran Robinson, Chris Harris, Yona Schaal, Manolo Saucedo Munoz, Steelers, Matthew Blanchett, Kim Munt, Manuel Morales, Conito, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, The Litz Cloud, Aura Keeper, Keva, Jeffa 6263, Magnus, Kevin Nelter, Brendan Kria, Karj Volzelman, Sean Graves, The Epic Commander, Galaxy Fox 22, Leaf Arn Hammer, Sentimento, Hayton 2000, Storm 970, Inakami and Water, Your Edvinson.